Hey everyone, Daryl Bradley here for an episode of What's in My Bag. This is the bowling bag that I use. So let's uh, have a look and see what's inside. Well, let's, let's see what's in my bag. <laughs> Haven't opened the bag for a little while, so uh, we, we don't know what we're gonna find. Well, first we gotta start off with my score sheets from the uh, eight gamer, uh, the, the five pin units for universe eight gamer, where I did qualify 24th, so we're in the mix, so thank you very much. Had a solid finish. I think I was 1,200 to finish for the last four, so there's my claim to fame. Not quite uh, frame worthy or anything yet, but hey, it's, it's a good one in the bag. Um, my shoes. Now, I'd say, uh, you know, seven, eight years ago, I guess the Wiseman's would probably let me know how long it actually was. I bought some SST8s. Very happy with this shoe. Um, made a big difference. The comfortable, um, the sole, I really need to have comfortable shoes. I've thought long and hard about going into a pair of running shoes or something um, old man-ish. I, I often tease about that, but um, uh, really important for me to be comfortable. I really like these shoes, obviously, because they have the interchangeable soles and the sliders. So I've never really changed the right foot. It's always been the same, um, but the left foot, I did change, thanks, shout out to Henry Schutz, uh, who at one point uh, gave me a 10 slider and I've never taken it off. So I like a really long slide. Uh, I find that the heavier approaches that just start to wear on me and my, my quads, my knees, so I really need as much of the slide as possible. So uh, really happy with the shoes. Might be coming into a new pair here in the next couple of years, but uh, for now we'll stick with the SST8s and uh, be happy with those. So the balls, um, I carry a couple sets with me. The first one is my old Sweet Peas, uh, which is one of the nicknames many years ago was Sweet Pea. Um, you'll have to ask me the story why later, but uh, some old star lines. And I got these from Wally Sluka uh, when I was bowling YBC back in, you know, Shore Park when I was 14, 15 years old. This is my first set of bowling balls that my parents bought me. Uh, Christmas present, put it on the Christmas tree, open them up and it's just ecstatic. Threw these for a really, really long time. Um, the thing that I really like about they're, they're five inches, but they're really light. So I'd say they're somewhere in that three, six, three, seven range. Um, and I, uh, I often use these to throw straight up the gut, not a whole lot of movement to them, maybe a little bit of peel at the end, just sort of with my backup ball, but um, they're, they're a good old ball um, that uh, I've cleaned them many times and, and happy with them. Don't use them too much these days, um, but, uh, but they've definitely done well over my career, uh, a lot of things. So they have a little marking too. I don't know if you can see that right in there. You can see that line in there. That's sort of the spot that I always hold it so I can see that line right in front of me. I think everybody probably has a marking on their ball that you typically hold it the same way, whether it's the engraving, whether it's a, you know, a dent in there or what it is, but that's, that's this ball that I hold that one. The other set of balls that uh, I use most frequently now and have for you know a couple of years is the soft rolls. Uh, really happy with these. These are three eight and four and seven eighths. So a little bit smaller and a little bit heavier, but not of course maxing out on any of the, the ranges that the bowling balls come in. Um, definitely gives me a lot of movement now, which is which was good. Uh, I guess it, especially with my backup, that uh, the ball will, will start to move, throw a little bit extra on it, that snaps there at the end. Um, but yeah, really happy with these. I sort of made a really concerted effort it was a number of years ago. Never really used them, um, but now the last couple of years, this is sort of the go-to ball. I'm not the most technical guy when it comes to balls or um, makeup or even stance. I'm sort of a bit more of the, the feel uh, and fitness kind of thing. I joke there, fitness, but um, yeah, that, that's sort of more my style that I want to feel good, uh, look good, and, and throw a ball that just it, it's just going to work, right? But not over technical on any sort of component of the game. Um, usually have a backup pair of socks, of course, you don't need to see that. Um, you usually have a backup, uh, a change of, you know, undergarments, uh, you don't need to see that. Um, but, um, you know, sure, I have the, you know, the, the shoe covers and, and that kind of stuff in there. Um, I do have, uh, funny enough, is a official rule book, right? 
So that's for Dexter, whenever he needs it, he'll come and ask me for the rule book corner. Um, so I got one and I threw it in there. Um, I do have, of course, all the gamut change up of soles and holes and heels and sliders and all those things. Um, but like I said before, I'm not technical. I honestly probably couldn't tell you what the difference is between a lot of them too. Um, there's other guys that can that can do that. Um, you know, maybe would think about trying some difference, but it, it's just not my jam, right? But I have them all there for, for people to try. Um, other things that I sort of pack with me now, a league night is different than a, um, a tournament day. I've got to have a little cash. For one, I won this today after a, off of a couple of bowlers, so thanks, boys. Um, you know, I've got 50-50 tickets uh, from the Edmonton Five Pin Grey Cup pool. <laughs> you never know what's in there. Um, you know, the WCBT tour card. Hey, guys, remember number six? Um, you know, pocket change, little things like that. Two bucks, quarters here, all those things. Usually a, a pack of mints or a gum, like that fresh breath, kind of that feeling. Sometimes these are really strong to the Excel. So when I put these in, they, they sort of, oh, a little, a little too heavy. Um, you know, some pens in there, um, some other types of medicine in there that I have. But, uh, you know, just to keep myself, again, body feeling good, uh, feeling healthy, it's super important to me that uh, when I bowl, I, I've got to feel good. If I, if I mentally and physically don't feel good, I, I'm not going to have success. So obviously lots comes to the bag. Tournament days, I typically pack. So whether it's an open qualifying or if it's a WCBT tour event, uh, in, you know, an eight gamer, I'll typically have, you know, a bunch of granola bars. I will have carrots and peas and, you know, a fruit bag too, um, and sort of almonds and those sort of things that I'll, I'll just sort of sit and, and, and munch on. Um, my computer is something too that I usually bring with me to these events, sometimes a newspaper or a Maxim magazine or a People magazine. I like to sort of keep myself busy and whether I'm, you know, writing emails or if I'm reading the newspaper or reading the, the Maxim or whatever it is, right? I just, uh, I got to have something with me. So um, just sort of keep myself ready and I take a lot more time of thinking what's in the bag at a, at a big tournament, big event. So yeah, it's been fun. Thanks. Once again, Daryl Bradley doing an episode of what's in my bag. Have fun.